Welcome back to Medinair. In this video, let's discuss about the glycogenesis. The term glycogenesis refers to the process of glycogen formation. So, what is glycogen? Glycogen is a storage form of carbohydrate where they are majorly stored in liver and muscle. When we consume food, blood sugar rises causing glycogen deposition in liver. So, when we take a meal, the excess carbohydrates get stored in liver and muscle as glycogen once sufficient amount is achieved and when we starve the glycogen which has been stored in the liver and muscle gets converted into glucose and it will be released into the bloodstream again now let's see how glycogen is synthesized in step one glucose gets activated glucose one phosphate along with utp which is uridine triphosphate in presence of UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase enzyme gets converted into UDP glucose. This UDP glucose molecule has a glucose moiety. That glucose moiety gets transferred to a glycogen primer molecule called glycogenin. Now let's get to know about glycogenin in detail. It is a dimeric protein made up of protein carbohydrate complex having two identical monomers. These monomers glycosylate each other using UDP glucose till 7 glucose units are added. This is known as autoglycosylation. The resultant molecule is our glycogen primer to which glucose units are added by glycogen synthase. In the next step, the activated glucose units are sequentially added by this enzyme glycogen synthase. The glucose unit is added to the non-reducing end which is the outer end of the glycogen primer to form alpha 14 glycosidic linkage and UDP is liberated. Now we need branches of these for which we require a branching enzyme called amylo 14 to 16 transglycosidase enzyme. This branching enzyme will form alpha 16 glycosidic linkages. When the chain is lengthened to 11 to 12 glucose residues this branching enzyme will transfer a block of 6 to 8 glucose residues from this chain to another site on the growing molecule. The glycogen synthase and the branching enzyme will keep repeating their actions until glycogen is formed. Now, the glycogen is ready to get stored in the liver and muscle and will be waiting to take action when blood glucose level drops. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Do like this video and subscribe to Medinair for more. Thanks for watching.